Well, about an hour and a half ago, not only did nurses go on strike, uh, but uh, Harry and Meghan's new Netflix documentary docuseries video diary Winch Fest, uh, the uh, second volume of that, rather pompously, uh, was released, the final three episodes of that series of six. Looks like they've been rather stretching it out, but yes, there are more headlines from it. Uh, well, um, I'm, I'm on air this week, wasn't on air last week, uh, so um, I've, I've rather thankfully not been able to watch it, but Rupert Bell, our talk radio royal correspondent, was basically dragged kicking and screaming into the building to watch it for us. You're still cross with me, aren't you, Richard? Julia, yes, I'm cross. Um, I should be at the London International Horse Show watching horses get ready for the dressage. You know what? <laughs> Having had a daughter who, who, who was into riding for a long time, I'm really struggling. Between Meghan, Meghan and Harry and the horses, I would really struggle to choose which which I could cope well, with the least. OK, well, uh, um, I well I can definitely cope with the horses. I've gone for an hour and a half of this, and there are, it is actually quite... The gloves are off now. Uh, OK, well, the gloves are off now. Well, look, yeah. there's a new trailer that was released earlier this morning before the 8 o'clock release of this, uh, these final three episodes. I say final, mm. they'll be doing this for years. They've got, to, they've got to pay those bills for those private jets, haven't they? Let's have a little listen, a little word to what look, particularly Prince Harry is saying in these latest episodes. Let's uh, have a look at that now. When someone who's marrying in who should be a supporting, a supporting act is then stealing the limelight or is doing the job better than the person who was born to do this. That upsets people, it shifts the balance. Because you've been led to believe that the only way that your charities can succeed and the only way that your reputation can be grown or improved is if you're on the front page, front page of those newspapers. But the media are the ones who choose who to put on the front page. First time that the, the, the penny dropped for her. Em and I spent the night in a room in Buckingham Palace after an event where every single member of the family, senior members of the family had been, including the Queen, and on the front page of the Telegraph, made him. I went, oh my God. She was like, but it's not my fault. And I said, I know, and my mum felt the same way. Oh, woe is me. Uh, Rupert Bell is still with mm. me uh, after watching that. They talk about this stuff as if it's some massive big drama, like, oh, I was on the front page of the papers. I mean, get over yourselves, get a real problem. Well, he's implying there, because they were all at that uh, service of remembrance, why is it a picture of Meghan? Well, because she... you're the newest famous yeah. royal. Uh, yes, and she, was bo and she was box office. But the, the, what <laughs> further happens when you carry on into episode two, Basically, now, this is where they're talking about the meetings and how the, the, he is implying sat the royal household stage managed so that Meghan wasn't going to be in the country so that when they had the showdown meeting, and it's definitely implying, um, well, his brother's household briefing, and it really... The, those, those are the allegations, so basically, the, 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 well, the, the, the palace... Charles and, and William, that they, they their staff, whether it's specifically those two, the father and the brother or not, basically have had a campaign, a nasty campaign against Meghan and Harry and the briefing and basically using nasty stories about them being planted to basically protect other family members. But there's also some other very specific allegations, that, uh, a situation where Prince William screamed at him, you think? Yes, we're at this meeting and, and so in saying that, we're shouting at him and he was frightened by this because it's obviously the breakdown of their relationship. And this is where it's sad. Now, unfortunately, you can't... We're not hearing the other side of the story. It's just his version of these mm. events of what led to the meeting at Sandringham. There is also... Um, Meghan suffered a mis miscarriage in, in July 2020, I think is the date they're saying, mm. and what she he is implying that the stress around all the um, breakup and everything resulted in that miscarriage, although he said he can't, it's not well, a guarantee. No, 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 of course, because he's, yeah. I mean, no one, I mean, that's yeah. someone who's had four miscarriages, there are many different reasons. You can have yeah. no stress at all and still suffer a miscarriage, and it's an absolute tragedy and, and really mm. difficult, and she did speak about it at the time. But you're basically saying, my baby died because of what you did to me. That's quite an accusation. It, it, it is, and that's why I say the gloves are off now in this second episode. And you definitely do feel that um, it, they are... He, Harry just looks angry. 
and through the whole thing and but you also the mental health side of the issues with Megan he said well we tried to get help but at the same time here's a man who probably knew how to get help why didn't he well, then find was, a way of getting help we've had if, these bizarre claims before haven't hmm. we that they, they were prevented somehow from yeah. getting help no we know look we've got we see not just from episodes of the crown we know from Andrew mm. Morton's book we know the traumas that uh, Diana went through Diana was a troubled soul who'd had a terribly difficult upbringing and she married into a troubled mm. fa family that didn't look after her and we know what you know what what happened there um but the idea that harry and william who themselves run a mental health charity that they wouldn't know how to seek health uh, help and given the fact even as, as a as a veteran mm. uh harry would have had and again you know one of the reasons he said at victor's games which is a brilliant achievement from him um was about you know it's actually not just a phys you know physical competition but it's actually about the mental health of veterans who've been wounded in battle um the idea that he wouldn't know how to get help or that she as a california based actress wouldn't know about where to get a therapist is is frankly not, i mean that's an abject lie well uh, this is the point he if he's saying to her so he wants she wanted help well then if they weren't going to give it then use your why own issue you, then why get would your, you go to the household uh, to yeah. get that help if, if so this is where you start to think Hello. Well, yeah. this is a one-sided slant and i do feel for william in many ways because it is an unrelenting sort of bash at the royal household and in particular yeah. you feel it's his brothers he's also a uh, household he's also saying the the king well he's always controlled the financial purse strings of his yes. life well well go out and get but he had a job like, they didn't yeah. control this for that when he was being paid an army wage he had mm. money to go and like cavort in in in, 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 probably, los, in los angeles and las vegas i mean i'm sorry the idea that these boys who were constantly living life out of uh, western you know mayfair nightclubs that they they were somehow financially controlled mm -hmm. oh give me a break when he's got his own he was he's got millions he, millions. he was left millions didn't diana leave him more yeah, than Di than yes. william because she knew that william uh, was going to inherit the crown and there's been plenty of uh, excerpts from the martin bashir interview which, which we, again we're seeing the family don't want don't want that i have to, to say i disagree with him i don't think william should get to decide whether or not we no. get to see it which was a, a constitutionally significant in interview mm -hmm. even though if it was gained under false pretenses the main message i get from this um, and i will i hate myself for it but i will watch it um is that you know this is a couple who are incredibly privileged and yes life's not been perfect and I'm, i think being in the royal goldfish bowl is horrific and i'm sure they've not been treated very well in some ways and i'm sure they treated other people very badly but but com do they know how other people are living their lives are they aware of how hard most people's lives are right now not just in this country but in america as well around the world people of ukraine i mean not saying you're not allowed to moan about your lot but this woe is me thing from people who travel around who wear thousand pound you know um you know gloves and 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 wear a different outfit every day and live on private jets living in a multi-million pound mansion telling us that their life is terrible i just don't think it's going to sit very well no it's not i know to begin with in, in the i think in the first episode they they show pictures of living in nottingham cottage which is a house within the grounds of kensington palace and they say it, oprah winsey turns up and says it's so small well uh, yes i mean it may be and had low roofs it's just an old <laughs> place so oh. again you just think well, you, you're living actually probably yeah. with plenty of people around just to manage your life. It's not well, that tough. Well, it's when they tough. lived in Frogmore Cottage. You look at the pictures yeah. of it. This is bigger than most mansions. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I mean, Harry, Meghan, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> just shut up. Stop whinging. Stop moaning. Your lot in life is... You're in the top 0. 0.0000000000001% 000 of privileged, lucky people on this planet. Shut up. Rupert Bell, thank you to you. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, for, thank you. For, he's going to carry on watching. We're forcing him to do it. He's going to be asking for danger money next.